Chris, I created a data flow. Uh, he meant without the space. Um, yeah. With uh, premium per user, will pro users be able to use that? So, uh, that's a good question. Oh, that's no, a good it's question. Tricky. It's a tricky question. I know it so, is. So, uh, so wait, there's, wait. There you're is... saying you're saying it depends. I'm trying not to say it depends. <laughs> um, so. Uh, this is one where there is a use case where right now you can go and you can create a data flow in the context of premium and you can go and consume that in a data set in a non-premium workspace where you can import the data uh where yeah. that at least for public preview you will be allowed to do now we're going to see how that goes um i think i want to make very clear about something you know when we went to set this SKU up, and uh, we we have a very successful business with Power BI. I know it's not perfect, but it's a very successful business model we have here. And the the specific reasoning around this SKU and setting this up and adding it was to address a specific space that was not being a need that was not being met right now for a certain segment of customers. And so we have pro, we have premium, and then you have this group of customers of a certain size, you know. And everybody does the math in terms of like, oh, the cutoff is, you know, essentially 500 users. So you have this zero to 500 range. Um, so the idea was let's add something that would allow people to get access to this, but not disrupt the existing premium business. So I am very, very comfortable with where we landed in terms of uh, the price point and the fact that everybody needs a license because I see that this question has come up repeatedly and it's effectively the variation of the same thing. Can I work around the existing requirements to use premium by getting one or two premium per user licenses and then letting all my pro users consume that content? Uh, and I'm, we're, I'm very, very cognizant of that. And you know, uh, for better or worse, and again, I'm comfortable with where we landed with this. Everybody needs the same license to go consume that content. There is this uh, use case where you potentially can leverage that in that way. Um, another one that I mentioned in the FAQ, for email subscriptions for attachments. Um, if you have an attachment for your email subscription, everybody's getting the same attachment. We actually let you add pro users to get the subscribed content because otherwise you're just gonna send it to yourself and forward it to everybody. So it didn't seem to make sense to block that. And uh, on that note, one of Adam Saxton's favorite features, uh, email subscriptions with attachments for Power BI reports, uh, that is, I mean, that was promised in the public roadmap. That is something we're working on. That will be a premium only feature. By the way, Mike and, is very interested in that as well. Yeah, I mean, and that's something that, and you're thinking like, oh, well, that was some sort of business decision for there. Actually, we probably couldn't have done it if it wasn't a premium only feature because of the amount of load it puts on the system. And there's a lot of complications there in terms of making sure you get the email subscription on time and because of the way, uh, the amount of users we have there. So there will be premium only, but again, that was one of the reasons why in the context of premium per user, you can go and add pro users and they can get that uh, subscribed content.